Hello and welcome to another AIC video. Uh, today we're joined by my dog. This one that thinks she owns the world. As we look at uh, my 83 Suzuki GN125. Um, so looking at this, uh, I've done a few things on it. Mostly taking some more things apart, waiting on parts. One of the things I did is this had, this was a fused line here. Had a little 15 amp glass fuse. The case that hold the, held the fuse in place, um, the plastic had just disintegrated on it. Um, so I bought these. It was like 10 bucks for a pack of 10 of them. Uh, or it was $9 for just one. So I bought the pack of 10. Um, this has a 15 amp fuse in there. Wired it in. Cut the old one out. Works great. Um, bike runs. Uh, I shouldn't say runs because I haven't actually started it but it cranks over reliably now. Uh, I took apart the turn signals on the passenger, or yeah, on the right side of the bike, because this one was flopping like a dead fish and the one on the front was just broken. Uh, this one was flopping because this is supposed to be a spacer and it's supposed to have this big round piece of plastic on the back here and it's just missing. Um, it's completely disintegrated. So I ordered some replacements of these because I have a feeling they're going to not last very long i also ordered some new rubber grommets because you know these are an amazingly excellent shape as well so those will go back on i have new bulbs coming as well so i need to sand that out they didn't work great because there's just a lot of corrosion in these so i have new led bulbs coming hopefully those work well um, when they come, this is what the, uh, front one looked like. It also looks like it's an amazingly good shape as well, doesn't it? <laughs> um, the next thing I'm going to do is this carb has been sitting for forever. And so I'm going to go ahead and just replace it. I could rebuild it, but the rebuild cost actually costs more than just a replacement carb, which I have here. Um, but I have one problem. See, obviously this is the fuel, because I saw that when I just connected it, to take the tank off. But I have these two other lines here, um, and I don't know what to do with them. So this one has this line here, and it's just running down. I'm guessing that's just some sort of drain of some kind i don't know is that correct is that the way it's supposed to be and this line up here is just missing entirely this has the hose on it but i have no idea where that's supposed to run to if anywhere so if anybody has one of these and knows where that's supposed to run to please let me know and i will get that done correctly um i do have a service manual for this but it doesn't give me any information. It just says disconnect this line uh, to remove the carburetor. And it's just like, okay, great, but then what? So, but like this, I can actually manipulate the choke on here uh, with my hand, um, which I can't do on this one. Like this one obviously is gummed up on the inside pretty good from sitting. Um, so that's why I'm replacing it. Uh, I got a new rear tube that showed up today. I have uh, new oil filters. It was as much money to buy three as it was to buy one, so I bought three. So I'll be doing an oil um, oil change on this here in the coming, before I actually go to start it. Because the oil actually doesn't look too dark in that little window. Uh, but I have no idea how old it is. And I don't know how acidic it's become over time. So I'll just go, go ahead and replace it because it's not even a full quart of oil. It's... 850 mil so um that's shy of a liter so not even the yeah not even a quarter of oil um but yeah it cranks over probably replace the spark plug too just because again i have no idea it only has 4,000 miles on it but it has been sitting for forever so yeah that's the update today um i have i'm gonna get some mother's polish and just clean up like the shocks um, front and back. Um, I've been wanting to paint the tank and the side panel. I 
because they could stand just a, I'm going to take the um, badges off. I'll go paint the black black again. I don't know about the silver, but I'll definitely paint the black black again, just so it's um, you know, more obvious. And then I'm just going to clean these up real good um, and then paint them with a clear coat. But it has been raining like every day for the last week, uh, almost two weeks. So the one day it didn't rain, I went ahead and de-rustified the fuel tank, which, of course, it um, actually, I have a little flash rust in it here. Not too bad. I'll show you. So I don't know. I tried to take pictures of the... Uh, inside of the tank and it was super corroded. Um, I used uh, vinegar and it seemed to clean out a ton of rust. Um, and then I sprayed something in it that was supposed to be a rust inhibitor uh, after I was done. Um, and it was dry on the inside, but I don't know. I don't think it did a great job. You can see the clear is flaking on this, so I'm going to clean that up like I did on my truck. I have a video on my other channel about that where um, I use a clear spray paint that has a hardener in it. Um, it's kind of expensive. It's like 20 bucks a can, but it's pretty good, pretty effective at just giving this a, a good hard clear coat. Uh, obviously, I kind of want to keep as much of the patina as possible, but I want to preserve it and not um, have it continue to and rust. So we're going to clean up these edges, key this just a little bit with some high grit, like an 800 grit or 1000 grit sandpaper, just to give the paint, uh, the cl uh, clear coat, something to stick to. And then um, go from there. And it should look really nice when I'm done. Take these badges off, obviously. Clean them up as well, as best as I can. But it's got to stop raining. I have the spray paint. Um, it's just, it's been too humid and that stuff cannot be sprayed indoors. It's really nasty stuff. Uh, I've done that before and ruined um, a car. <laughs> Not even the car is painting. I'd put up uh, plastic all around the car, but I didn't do a good enough job and so it leaked. And that was just, it was just a disaster. My wife still hasn't quite forgiven me for that one. Or at least she brings it up fairly often. <laughs> Oh, I also need to fix, not on this one, but the other one has a plastic tab that I need to do some plastic repair on. Probably just epoxy it um, with some clear epoxy. Anyways, just trying to think if I've done anything else so far on the bike. And I really haven't. Um, like I said, just waiting for parts to come in. Tires are on their way. I have the front tube coming. There's the other dog. Just wondering what I'm doing. Aren't you, bud? You need a haircut. Yeah, you do. Um, I have a new um, gasket here. I have a new air filter. Um, what else have I got? Got a new seat coming. So we should be up and going here. Once all those parts come in and I get the tank and the side panels painted, um, the process should actually go really quick at getting stuff back together. Um, I would think. So yeah, if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, leave that down in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you have an amazing day.